Lesson 2. Continue. Using a text editor to edit your website in a Windows computer. On my previous lessons, I've shown you how to set up a local environment to work with a web server and installed a WAMP, MAMP, or XAMPP local web server environment. Now, I'm going to show you how to install and use a text editor software so that you can edit your web HTML files in a Windows environment. Here's the installation process. Open up a web browser and go to Google and search for Note++ plus plus download for Windows. And this is the software to download the Note++. Plus plus. You click on go to download, download here, click that button here. That's the current version. And we're going to save it. After saving, we're going to run it. We're going to run. And it asks us to run, open. And we're going to install Note++ plus plus to our Windows computer. Click on Agree, Next, and Next, Install, and it's going to install. And click Finish once you're done. So now that you've finished installing, we're going to Update Selected. Click Yes. And it's downloading the latest update. And so we're going to install that program and click OK and it's done. This is Note++ Plus Plus, and we're going to use Note++ Plus Plus to build websites and web pages. And normally in Windows when you save your web pages you would save it to your C drive C colon WAMP and in the folder www. This is where all your web pages and website projects will be located in. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start creating one web page. And in this web page, we're going to just create an H1 tag. An H1 tag is a title tag. So we're going to start off with an open tag and a close H1 tag. And you type in a bracket, square bracket, H1, close the square bracket. Then you type in hello world. And we're going to close the H1 tag with a square bracket slash H1 and then close it with the square brackets. And then once you're done, go to File, Save As, and you're going to save it into your C colon WAM and www folder. And I'm going to call this hello world.html. And we're going to save it there. So after you finish saving, we're going to go ahead and run in a web browser and see how it looks. To do that, what you want to do is, before you run the HTML file on your local host, you must launch your WAMP local server environment, which is your WAMP manager. I made a shortcut here, so I just double click on that and run the program. When you run it, it opens up the WAMP server here. When you click here, you can click on local host and it, it takes you to a local host colon 8888. Now, what you can do is you put a slash at the end and type in hello world.html, enter. And there is your hello world. So where is that file? Again, uh, you just go to your C drive, go to your WAMP folder, in your www folder there is that file called hello world you right mouse click it and you open it with firefox for example it's going to do the same thing what i wanted to let you know is that the c colon slash wamp slash www folder is all your html files and php files will be residing in and that's it for now and let's move on to the next lesson